first thing that comes to my mind if I was talking to my nephew would be, um, I'm not going to tolerate, I don't know what else to call it, whining, complaining, not fair this, not fair that, blah, 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 blah. You're a 20-year-old man. You're an adult. Stop, you know, go read the book Extreme Ownership or something. It's on you, buddy. Your life is yours. It's not your mom's. It's not your grandma's. It's not your, you know, your dad. It's yours. Stop complaining. You know, find your thing and go after it, right? I believe getting wealthy is, re- I mean, getting wealthy is extremely easy. You have to create disposable income. Stop saying stupid shit like, I've got three jobs. I deserve this thing. You don't deserve anything. You need to bust your ass, create some dry powder, go get good at something and do it for a decade. And again, if you're 20, you could be financially free by 30. I would trade places with you in a heartbeat. To know what I know now and to be 20 years old, not 51, I would give up everything I have right now to be that 20-year-old. I would not increase my lifestyle. I would I would probably be financially free by 25 or 26. Just stop whining. Just, just, if you're mad at the end of the day, your social media feed is wrong. You got to go find inspiration. You got to go feed yourself positivity. You got to go figure out what lights your fire. If it's real estate, great. If it's deep, you know, I don't know, repairing bikes, great. I don't care what it is. Go find it and go after it. But man, 20-year-olds like to bitch and complain and life's not fair and it's stacked against me and I can't do anything and the damn boomers, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, frustrating. 